So for this problem, we want to know what the annual cash flow uh, produced by a factory is going to be. And so we know that Donegal Enterprises, the factory is worth $480,000. That means the present value of all the expected cash flows is $480,000. We know the cost of capital is 16.4%. We know that the factory is expected to produce cash flows forever with the next cash flow expected in one year. And I said annual fixed cash flows. So what that means is that the factory is expected to produce the same cash flow every single year. So what is the present value of all these cash flows? Well, the building is worth six hundred and forty or four hundred and eighty thousand. And we know then that the present value of all of those cash flows forever and ever is equal to four hundred and eighty thousand. We know they're fixed. Well, guess what? Even though it's an infinite series. We can say, aha, that's a fixed perpetuity. And we know that the present value of a fixed perpetuity is simply the regular cash flow, and that's what we're trying to figure out in this problem, over the discount rate. And in this case, the discount rate is given as 16.4%. So we know the present value of the building is 480,000. So that's equal to the cash flow over 0.164. Multiply both sides of the equation by 0.164. And that cash flow, regular cash flow, is equal to 480,000 times 16.4% and you come up with 78,720. So here we have a building that's expected to produce 78,720 in one year and so what's the value of that? 78,720 divided by 1.164 720 in two years, the present value of that is 78,720 over 1.164 squared. You add them up, you add it for the third, fourth, fifth, you add it forever and ever and ever and ever and ever, and guess what? You come up with 480,000. So that is what the cash flow that's expected to be produced each year by our building or by the factory is $78,720.